This may look like a regular Honda CRV, but two fuel caps indicate it has a plug in hybrid setup. Usually, this means that the fuel tank has one of these to feed the internal combustion engine. But that's not the case here because this one doesn't have a gas engine. Instead, it combines the fuel cell assembly with a battery pack. Yes, the CRV was designed with a plug in hydrogen setup. The only fuel cell passenger vehicle produced in America also has a battery pack. Billed as the only fuel cell electric passenger vehicle produced in America, the compact SUV has a rather complicated name, 2025 Honda CRV e FCV. Power is provided by a front-mounted electric motor that produces 174 horsepower and 229 pound-feet of torque. The compressed hydrogen gas tank has a 4.3 kg capacity for an EPA-certified 270-mile driving range. As for the separate 17.7 kWh battery pack, it has enough power for an EPA-estimated 49 miles. Joining the regular turbo and hybrid models, the E. FCV version benefits from bidirectional charging, as do some regular plug-in hybrid and battery EVs. It comes with a power supply connector that plugs into a 110 volt outlet to provide a maximum of 1,500 watts of power. This handy feature can power household appliances, camping equipment, power tools, and even a portable air conditioner. Because the weight distribution is different, Honda says it has completely retuned the suspension on both axles. The CRVE FCV uses a McPherson strut at the front and a multi-link strut at the rear. It is said that rear lateral stiffness has increased by 10% and rear torsional stiffness has increased by 9% compared to models with internal combustion engines. There are also new stabilizer bars, shock absorbers, and springs. The CRVE FCV is Honda's first model to use the second generation fuel cell module manufactured in Michigan and developed with General Motors. It is said to be more efficient, durable, refined, and cost effective than the previous model. Compared to the obsolete Clarity fuel cell, the cost of producing the fuel cell has been reduced by two thirds. Honda has put some effort into visually distinguishing the hydrogen version from existing CRV models. In addition to the front fenders and bumper, the partially black trunk lid, transparent taillights, and 18 inch black alloy wheels in 10 spoke design have also been replaced. Under the vehicle, the E FCV features a fully enclosed subfloor for better airflow to increase efficiency. The regular CRV will be offered in six trim levels for the 2024 model year, while the plug in hydrogen model will be available only as a touring for 2025. This means everything from electrically adjustable heated front seats to a 12 speaker Bose audio system is included as standard. You also get dual zone climate control, a heated steering wheel, a power lift gate, and a wireless charging pad. A 9-inch touchscreen and 10.2-inch digital instrument cluster are standard and wireless compatibility with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is also standard. The 2025 Honda CRV e FCV will be available for lease in California starting later this year. It's worth noting that the model's debut comes just a few weeks after Shell announced plans to close all seven hydrogen stations in California. According to the Hydrogen Fuel Cell Partnership, H2FCP, 55 stations were available in the state, both literally and figuratively, on January 10, 2024, before Shell decided to pull the plug.